Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to have a look at numbering shapes and a couple of things that you can get through Visio add-ons and then Visio extras. So numbering shapes and array shapes. We'll have a quick look at those. So first of all, on the screen, I've got a flowchart. So I'm going to recreate that. So just bear with me. So flowchart. Control N, I just did there. So there's my first process very quickly. Decision and process, another process, decision and process. And then coming out of these, we'll have each one of these will have a process. So let's say this is induction, induction. Um, so we pass induction, no. In yes, coming down. So this is going to be finance and then um, reassess. And then we'll put have a line coming out of that one back to induction again. And then coming down from finance, we'll have HR. Pass, no, we'll have reassess again. We'll have that going all the way back up to the top, into there, coming down, take that off, higher. So we've got our flow chart, now we need to do our numbering. So what you don't want to be doing in Visio is numbering these manually by typing in one, two, three, four, whatever. What you need to be doing is numbering them by using the feature that comes with Visio. So click on the view tab and then you've got macros at the end there and add-ons. And then you want Visio extras and then you've got number shapes. Now this box comes up manually. Now you could set that to auto number and it probably would work okay-ish in this one, but it might start numbering these out of sequence. And if you've got a cross functional flow chart, it numbers all the swim lanes as well. So that's probably not what you want to do. So we're going to leave it on manual and then we're just going to select it ourselves. On the advanced tab, you've got a few of the positions that you can select if you want to, but we're going to keep it basic. So I'll just click okay to that. So we're starting at position one with an interval of one, so you can change that if required. Just click OK. And then this box comes up, and now it's up to you. Whatever you click, so I'll click on that first box. And that puts a number one in it. Number two, number three. Number four, number five. Number six, number seven, number eight. And then close. Now let's say that you've done that wrong and you wanted um, this to be number one what you can do is do go back into it number shapes change the start point to one click ok again move this out of the way and then click on that box one two three Four and so on so and close that box so if you make a mistake you just go back into it and change the start point and carry on so that's numbering shapes and that applies on all stencils you can do that on all stencils with relevant shapes now the other thing I wanted to have a quick look at was was this if I bring a shape on like that in fact uh, I'll bring two shapes on and I'll just connect them together so if I go back home connect to just connect these two together I could have just clicked on the I could have just clicked on uh, the tool that one never mind let me just highlight these say I want a duplicate set of these two shapes I'll go to view again add-ons visio extras and this time array shapes it gives you some options here. So what do you want? So rows, I want 
four rows one four but i only want one column so i'll go down onto one so the column spacing is that the row spacing is that and you can change that between shape centers so that's the center <clears throat> i want this between the edges and then okay and what you get is it's giving you that sort of space so if i get myself a new document I'll just try that again so i bring one shape on and then i go to extras array so i want let's say i want three row four rows and three columns okay you can see it drops it in there like that now one of the things that's slightly irritating is that it doesn't have you select it as a group and once you click off it these are all just individual shapes but it's a quick way of getting loads of shapes onto the screen if that's what you want if i undo that and do it with the other option is your extras array shapes between so this is between shape centers slightly different apply well I'll just click ok you see it's like one big block but again they're all movable this gives you loads of shape options so that's all I want to talk about in this little video shape numbering and shape arrays or create an array of shapes so that's it thank you for your time I'll see you in the next one